This week on Creative Living with Lynn Lilly, we find the rosier side of life with some happy news. It's all groovy vibes as we celebrate spring colors with a tulip tie-dye project the whole family will love. Put on your swim trunks, it's time to dive into some baking fun with Chef Kimmy Hu. I'm in the craft room sharing a few of my favorite craft products new on the market. Lifestyle expert Emily Foley stops by with her go-to household hacks for any beauty emergency. And we round out the fun as crafters Lori McCullers and Bianca Octavia face off in everyone's favorite game, Name That Price. we have a fun show planned for you. If you're new to creative living, guess what? You're in for a surprise because every week the show is different, but each show is filled with recipes, crafts, laughs, and some feel good fun. And today's show is a good one. So you definitely want to keep watching. And if you're watching on social, feel free to drop us a comment, tell us where you're watching from, or even feel free to put something in the comments that you want to see on the show. Maybe it's a recipe that you want to learn how to make or a craft that you want to learn how to do. We'd love to hear from you. All right, so I'm sure you have probably heard, but we've got Camp Craft Box, our virtual summer crafting camp that we host with Crayola every summer coming up. It's on sale right now so you can get registered and camp officially starts in June. Go ahead and scan the QR code that you see now on screen and it'll take you to the info page where you can find out all the details. But let me just tell you, you're in for lots of fun. We've got eight themed weeks planned out with lesson plans, crafts, and activities with me and with Lori McCullers, who you see on the show all the time. All right, so that's it for today's news and updates. I think it's time for some good news. I'm going to go ahead and meet Rosanna for the rosier side of life. All right, time to start off the show my favorite way with Gal Pal Rosie. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> She's here. If you're new to the show, this is Rosanna Penn of Florida, bearer of good news, amazing family photographer. Um, and we start out every show with her sharing great news. Yeah. Let's do it. Do it. So there is this guy who's a former Marine. His name okay. is Donald. Donald. Right? And after like a series of misfortunate events, he became homeless. Yeah. So after he became homeless, he, you know, started living in the streets down in Florida. Mm -hmm. But in the city that he was staying in, there are pianos planted around the city. Oh, I've yeah. seen this in some city. So in Sarasota, that's where he mm -hmm. was staying. He would just play the piano just, you know, wherever. Now, this story isn't brand new or mm -hmm. whatever, but when someone was recording him, mm -hmm. Like he was just playing this song by the sticks called Sail Away. Okay. And that, <laughs> that went viral. And as soon as that happened, uh -huh. he got a record deal. Wait, what? <laughs> he got a record deal just playing just playing that song. And so him and this producer came up with his own album, wrote uh -huh. some songs, and became an overnight sensation. What? Which is so great. Like, y you can have, like, a second chance in life. Or, right. Like, no matter what situation you're in. But even though the story isn't, like, new, the newest information. Oh, an <laughs> the newest information about Donald is that he actually has a movie coming out about his story, what? which he is really great. So <gasps> it's like a biopic that's going to come out um, about his life, which is really, I, I can't wait to watch it. It's going to be inspiring. Okay. That's amazing. So social media gets a bad rap, but then there's things like that, yep. that that never would have probably happened, happened right. without someone recording it, posting it on social media and it going viral. So there is the good in social yeah. media, right? Yeah, absolutely. <gasps> that's amazing. Yeah. Which is great. Okay. So. Do we know what streaming platform is coming out on? I'm not exactly sure. They're still, okay. they're still so working we'll, on the details. We'll have an update when we find out. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's amazing. Yeah. Like it. Okay, really good story. Another great way to start out the show. Thank you, gal pal Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am headed to the craft room, and we are going to be doing some tie-dye. Ooh. Yeah, I'm excited. It might get a little messy, but it's going to be lots of fun. Yay. I'll see you in the craft room. All right, we're rolling into the craft room for another fun craft. Okay, so I love it because today's craft is super colorful, and it is sponsored by Tulip. And I'm sure you all know Tulip because they make tie-dye products. They make that dimensional fabric paint, AKA puffy paint that you probably have used since the beginning of time. But today we're going to do two different tie-dye techniques. Um, and these are kind of your non-traditional ways of tie-dyeing. So to get started, we're going to actually do a shaving cream method. We're going to be using the same three colors for both techniques. And you're going to get to see the difference in the colors and sneak peek on where and what. We're gonna be doing a shibori technique. You might be wondering what that is, so you gotta keep watching the segment. All right, so to get started, you're going to need some type of pan. So this is a tin pan that I can wash. You can also use one of those disposable ones as well. You could even use a plastic one. Um, and we're using shaving cream. So this is any old type of shaving cream. And we're gonna actually fill our pan with it. And you kinda gotta keep shaking as you go. And it will expand as you get it in. This can be the cheapest of the cheap shaving creams. Um, you can get some at the dollar store, the grocery store, and we want to fill up the entire pan. So you'll want to choose a pan based on the size project you're doing. We're going to actually do shoes and a canvas. All right, so once you get it all in there, you want to take a popsicle stick and you want to kind of fluff it. So I like to kind of connect it all because you'll see there's some spaces in between. So we're gonna fluff it all together, and if you could smell through the camera, it would smell like you're in a barber shop right now. All right, now I'm gonna put my gloves on for our next step because I've got my tie-dye bottles already mixed up. So you can see I've got a whole kit here that comes with a ton of different colors, but you can shop a bunch of different colors and kits on Tulip's website. But I've got my purple, my turquoise, and my pink here. I already filled them and shaked them. Shook them, shook them, right? Yeah, already shook them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just pour some in here. No particular pattern. So it can be really any way you want. So I'm just gonna kind of squirt them in between. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my pink. And then we're gonna keep that popsicle stick handy because we're gonna use that to move around our colors. Now, so we're gonna take our popsicle stick and we can judge this, that is the technical term, through our shaving cream and our color. And you can see how we're starting to create some of those really cool waves. So you can have some fun with this. Now, for your next step, once you kind of got it all mixed up the way you want, you want the colors to not completely mix, but be kind of swirling alongside each other, we're going to take a shoe. So I've got a canvas shoe here, and what I did was I actually put painter's tape around the side of that shoe so that I wouldn't get it on the sole, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually dip my shoe, and I don't care about it getting on the inside. If you're worried about that, you can also tape the inside, and I'm gonna roll my shoe into my shaving cream. Okay, and I wanna make sure that it completely gets covered. Now, I'm gonna lift it up, and you're gonna see that, right? Now, you might see if there's a spot, I think I saw a spot right there that's not covered, you can literally just take some of your shaving cream and dab it on there. All right, so we wanna make sure every part is covered. I'm gonna put some right back there. All right, all covered and good to go. Now, here's the deal. You're actually gonna let this sit for two hours and not touch it, okay? So that color is gonna intensify, so we're gonna set this here, and then after two hours, what you do is you take it to the sink and you actually rinse it off, and you get to see the wow effect of the design that it's created on your canvas shoes. I wanna also show you one more thing. So what we can do is we can reuse this. So again, kind of smooth it out, any holes that you see in there. And you can even add some more dye if you think you took out too much and you got too many white spots. So just kind of zhuzh it back up and then you can do other things in here like canvases and even paper. So what I'm gonna do with my canvas is I'm gonna take my canvas and I'm gonna dip it straight down. And I wanna make sure that I kind of get almost the whole thing. And I don't care about getting it on the back even though I've got it on my gloves. So what I'm gonna do is push that down, pull it back up. And again, if I see white spots, what I can do is take my popsicle stick and I can add this. And you can even see right there on the canvas that it's already starting to dye my canvas. 
but I want my colors to be super intense. So I'm gonna leave it on here again for two hours and then I'm going to rinse it off in water and reveal what it looks like. So this is step one. I wanna show you really quick. I'm gonna take off my gloves and then we're gonna do shibori really quick. So check out what it looks like over here. So how cool do these shoes look? Those are pretty awesome, right? And then we also have paper. So how cool is that paper? It dyed the front and the back. And then last but not least, we got the canvas. So that canvas is a fun, light colored pastel. All right, so now I've got shaving cream everywhere. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this for a second, make sure I have some other gloves and we're gonna set these two here and I'm gonna show you how to shibori tie dye. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our surface is covered with plastic, which I have here. And then a little tip, if you wanna be able to move your tie dye afterwards, what you need to do is put your, put a tray or something under your plastic. That way you can easily pick it up off your table. Now, shirts, any kind of material that you're going to use, you wanna make sure that it's nice and wet. So wet it in the sink, that's really important. And then we're gonna use our same colors that you see here. And I've got a hard cardboard tube that we're going to use to get the shibori effect. So with shibori, what it is, is the art of actually banding and dyeing. So what I wanna do is lay my shirt out. So we're gonna actually roll our shirt right around that cardboard tube. And you're only gonna get one use out of this cardboard tube, just FYI. Then what you're gonna do next is you're going to take your shirt and if your sleeves are kind of out, you can kind of just scrunch them up and we're gonna push it down, okay? And you may wanna put it on the table and squeeze it down as much as you can. And then we're gonna do the same thing from the other side. So we really wanna scrunch it up as much as we can. And even if it's not in the center, totally fine. We're gonna take some rubber bands and to hold it in place, we're gonna put just two rubber bands. You're gonna get your marks from the actual scrunching. So your bands aren't gonna do a ton of work. They're just gonna hold that scrunching in place. And then we're gonna put this around, okay? And then all that's left is the fun die part. So I'm gonna put this, see if I can make it around without breaking it, yeah. All right, so we hold it in place. And then remember, I put my tray under here, so I'll scoot this in so you guys can see it. Then last but not least, always make sure you wear gloves because it is dye. So you will dye your hands. So I'm gonna put my gloves on really quick. And I'm going to take my tie dye and since my shirt is wet, my tie dye will nicely absorb in and we're gonna use those three colors and we're just gonna do them alongside. So we'll do it in thirds and you use the tube and you just wanna kind of twirl your tube around and you wanna make sure that your fabric gets really, really saturated. Okay, so you don't really wanna see a lot of white. And then we'll take our blue we can do some blue right in the center. Same thing, we twirl it all the way around and then we do the same thing with our purple. Now, your next steps with this. I want to let mine sit. Now you can follow, there's instructions that are in the packet but my instructions are a little bit different because I like my colors to be really nice and bold. So what I do is I actually will let mine sit for almost six to eight hours and then I'll unravel it, I'll let it sit for another hour, and then I will rinse it in cold water until my water runs clean. I'll let it sit for another two hours, and then I'll wash it. So you can check out the one I'm wearing, and you get these really cool, nice banded marks. I've also got a tank top, so check out the tank top. And look at those bold colors, right? So because we let the dye sit on for so long, we got the bold colors, and I even have a little one so that me and my daughter can be matching. All right, so that's it for today's very colorful, fun tie-dye craft with my friends at Tulip. Make sure to check out their website. You can shop this pack of tie-dye plus all other ones on their website. And make sure that you follow them over at Tulip Color Crafts for more great creative colorful projects from other creators like me. All right, next up, I am headed to the kitchen and I'm gonna dive into something fun with Chef Kimmy Hu. Let's go. Chef Kimmy Hu, welcome back. How are you? I am wonderful. How are you? I am good. Good. Um, so for our viewers that don't know Chef Kimmy Hu, she's been on the show before. She was yes. a regular guest before we took our break. Yes. And I've learned so much stuff from her. I was just talking about how on a previous show when Lily and I did the Sprinkle Surprise Cupcakes, I first learned how to do that. 
from Chef Kimmy Hu. I know, it's so fun. Yes, all right. So what are we doing today? Because this looks really fun. It is really fun. So today we are going to make a beach themed pull apart cupcake cake. Okay, so fun for summer parties. Yes, so pool parties, beaches, whatever. I love it. Luau's, everything it works. All the things. Okay. All the things, So yes. to get started, what do we have here? So we've got pre-baked cupcakes and you can just use a box mix. Um, and so the first thing we're gonna do, decide how many guests you're gonna have and that's how many cupcakes you do. So we're gonna do a dozen. Okay, so if you're gonna have more guests, you can make it bigger. You make it bigger. Okay. Yep, so cool. the same principle applies, just make it larger. Okay. okay. So I typically say go with 12. Okay. I wouldn't 12. go less than 12. All right, got it. 12. Yeah. So we're going to glue them down to the board with icing. All right, icing. and this is just any kind of board, right? Yeah, so this is just a cake board I got at Michael's. Okay, but you could potentially just use a piece of cardboard, right? You could use a piece of cardboard, or it, you could know. use <laughs> a um, even a cake riser. Like, anything in your house, it'll work. Okay, and yeah. so... We're gonna glue it? Yes, you're gonna glue it with icing. Icing, okay. Yes, <laughs> so you're gonna use icing. Okay. And then we're gonna pick one up, yep. put some icing on the bottom, and then just put it in place. And this is just so, and I know you glued some of them already, yes. right? Yes. Okay, so this is yep. just so they stay in place. And I think are all the other ones glued? Yep. Yep. Everything okay, else cool. is glued down. So then you wanna make sure everything is kind of like nice. tightened in. Tight, all right. And then we're gonna take our blue, which is water. Okay, this is our water. And then I have a very, very large hole in the bag just to get a lot of it out yep it's it's a lot of icing so is this any kind of special icing so this is an american buttercream okay um you could potentially use whatever you want but this is just really easy to make okay and you have a recipe i do on the website it is there so i'm going to chef let you right? okay and if you click uh kids in the kitchen under recipes you'll find this full tutorial perfect but maybe if you're like me you could maybe use the stuff out of the kit Absolutely. So <laughs> if you are not inclined challenge, or yeah. Like so if you're gonna use the stuff in the can, don't use it straight out the can. Put it in a mixer oh, and whip, whip it. it. So then it gives you the same fluffiness. Uh, okay. And then you can come back. And I do love this. your tip. Okay. Yeah. So what am I doing? With so that? you're literally just gonna make waves. You cannot get this wrong. Okay. <laughs> she knows me. Chef Kimmy Ho, I have improved because of you. You have. Oh, look at this. That's exactly. Nice. And you can make deep waves. We can always add more frosting. Okay. Like, it's totally yeah. fine. Okay. You can do this with kids. You can use a spoon. Okay. So kids could use if you were doing this, yep, you can use a spoon. Lots of kids like to use spoons in the kitchen, so it works. Right. So And I can kind of swirl. Huh? You can. You can make it look however you want to. Like, the waves are moving this or the fine. waves are being still. Okay. And All it's right. super cute. <laughs> So I'm gonna fill in just one teeny tiny yep, spot right there. Spot right there. Okay. okay. Now we got a wave, right? So now it's perfect. So then you can make a decision on what you want to put on it. Okay. And what your scene is going to look like. Yep. So we've got all sorts of cute little toys. Got them on Amazon. Okay. Where you can do that, and then we're gonna build the beach around all right, so it. So can I put the toys on? Yes. All right. So of course I love dolphins. Of course. So fun. Oh wait, that should probably go in the sand. Yeah, we can put it on the beach. Okay. Well, and you can put them wherever you want to. You can put words on top of this or no words oh gosh, at all. So cute. Okay. So I'll move. Oh, oh I'll move it's these okay. aside. So yes. we can uh, do the beach or are you going to write next? So we're going to do both. Okay. So we're just going to do like a line of icing. Around it? Around it. Okay. Very simply like that. Yep. And then I'm going to drop this over in the bag so I can write. Oh. On the top. Well, that Let's messy. Mess. Okay, and you got so a little then, tip on there. Yep, I have. This is a tip five. Okay. Or you can just cut a really small hole to write on the top of uh -huh. it. So then, what do you want to say? Uh, summer fun. Okay, cool. We can do that. So it doesn't really matter. Now, this is something I learned in culinary school. Oh my god, you're so good. You want to be <laughs> above it when you're writing. Okay, that's a good tip. And don't drag. So you actually don't want to touch the icing on the bottom. No, because then you're gonna drag it. Okay, this is I'm it, like mesmerized because i am not good at writing with icing so writing with icing is nothing like writing in real life uh -huh. <laughs> which yeah. i learned the hard way when i was in culinary school but it's super fun so the other thing about this is say you're writing and you mess up yeah pop thing in the freezer okay and then your icing hardens and then you can just come back and pop it off yes so many good tips so I that tip will change your life. Okay, yeah, so that's good. Do you this, want to wipe that off the lid yeah. so we don't mix and match? Okay. Well, we're going to cover it, so it doesn't matter. But we can wipe that off All right, a little so bit. Alright, so we're going to do the sand. And then, so we're just kind of, you know. And that's however more glue. Much. More yes. icing glue. More okay. icing glue. And then we're going to put brown sugar down. Alright, so should I just start sprinkling this? Yes. Okay. 
Oh, Chef Kimmy Hu. What a cute, I mean, we just built this entire super thing quick in under six minutes. Yeah, right? super, super quick. Oh my God, I love it. Now you could get creative with this in like different shapes, right? Absolutely, you could put the beach on the cupcakes if oh. you wanted to as opposed to the whole thing uh -huh. being water yeah you would just do like white in one part and then and come back and put the brown all. sugar yeah. on the top of it yep so once you put your brown sugar on you set up your beach that. it's fine i love it you're so much faster than me oh my so god that, well i'm also very messy as you can see it's okay and then you can put your little toys in and then you put your toys in and they stick so if your toys don't stand up just add a little frosting to okay. the bottom yep, of it it's also a little frosting right there and then that'll make them stick Ta-da! I love it. All right, remind our viewers where they can follow you because I mean, she just like dropped so many amazing helpful tips on us today and she's got a gazillion more. I do. So you can follow me at Chef Kimmy Who on all social media platforms as well as chefkimmyhu.com. Okay, and last but not least, when you're ready to eat these, you just pull them apart, right? Yes. Okay, I'm coming back at a break to eat some of these. Okay, cool. They're gonna be so good, Chef Kimmy Who. Thank you. All right, next up, I'm headed to the craft room and I'm gonna do some experimenting with a new craft product and Ooh. see if it actually works. All right, Fine. I'll see you next time. Sorry. Yay. Okay, so. <laughs> this is we're experimenting. Yeah, we're experimenting. We're gonna try something first before you buy it to see if it works. So today's segment is not sponsored. Um, so we thought we would try it. We bought it. So we bought the Deco Art New Water Marbling Acrylic, also known as Hydro Dipping. Right. Um, because I thought it looked cool. I saw it on social media. Yeah. And I was like, this looks cool. Is it going to be as easy as we think it is? Yep. So we're going to try it today. Because other people have done Hydro Dipping with nail polish. Yeah, I've done it with nail polish yeah. a bunch of times. And uh, I've seen spray paint done, so this is something uh, we'll try no. and see. Okay, so we did do one step beforehand, but let us pray to you. We have not used this. No. So if it doesn't work, you're going to see it firsthand. <laughs> you're going to see the failure. Yeah. Okay. So we did do one thing ahead of time, yeah. which is this, which is... This is the, um, the water marbling magic medium. Um, it comes in a powder. It comes yep. in this little container. And what you have to do to prep the uh, the water that you're using is you heat it up so it has to be hot water. Mm -hmm. And you use one tablespoon per two cups of hot water. Yep. Um, and I experimented with that. We watched and then and it turned out not good. Yes. Yeah, so then we watched a video on YouTube. <laughs> yep. So the trick is hot water, pour it into your tray yep. first and then sprinkle in the magic medium as you sort of whisk it with a yes, whisk or a Yes, you need a whisk. And that's how yeah. you get it to dissolve because the first time it was clumpy bumpy. Yes. <laughs> and it was not good. It was not good. Okay. So what we understand is that you let that sit though for 20 minutes. That's yeah. what the instructions mm -hmm. say. So we have let our sit for 20 minutes. It thickens the water. So the paint is supposed to float on right. top. Yes, this is a water <laughs> thickening agent. So that's what it does. And you, we can apparently dip almost anything besides fabric. Right. Here, right. Mm -hmm. So I, well, I guess I'll just, would do let's it. try it. So we're going to take some colors, right? Yeah. Sure. So it says to shake gently before use. So we don't want to like okay, go crazy well, no, with it. Not, so not crazy. <laughs> They're laughing at me right here because <laughs> I just went all in on that shaking. All right. So, and it says to slowly drip paint directly from dropper onto water prepared so with magic media. I wonder if it, what color is this? This is how fast it's going to dry. That's what I'm worried about. Because... You know how like sometimes with nail polish, yeah, nail polish it dries, dries really, really fast, really right? quickly. So, so I was trying to shake some of these up real quick. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna try and dip. Ooh. Yeah. It says slowly drip. Yep. It, so not as fast as I just did. Yeah. Because if you, because I just did it kind it, of fast on the first one, and it bottom. sinks to the bottom. Yeah, so okay. when they say slowly drip, they're not. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not getting the hang of the slowly because my things are are going straight to the the bottom, but I'm still look like I'm still getting some on the top. And we have about a half an inch of water in here. Yeah, and it's, um, from what I read, it, it looks kind of transparent on the top as you put it in. Like I used pink and white just now. Yeah. And it says that it's supposed to be sort of transparent, but that it looks okay. I was gonna say cause yeah, darker on um, the pinky. It doesn't really show up except the right. big lumps that are on the bottom of it. Right. So, okay. All right. So we didn't buy a ton of colors because I didn't want to spend a whole bunch right. of money without mm -hmm. um, knowing if it worked or not. I'm gonna do some blue too. Okay. All right. So what I'm doing is um, we also got I'm these little sticks, so it's just kind of 
Yeah, we bought the sticks that they told us to. Mm -hmm. So it's little wooden, sort of chopsticky looking sticks. Yeah. And that way you can swirl the paint and get the kind of like uh, different designs. Yeah, you can get all the different swirls right, that you this? want. Okay, so I'm gonna try and go. Ooh. Yeah. So that's... okay, so it doesn't look like it's drying too fast because you know when you do this with nail polish, like it dries uber quick on the yeah. surface. You literally have like seconds to mm -hmm. dip. All right, so we're swirling. Yeah. Right. What are you dipping first? All right, so what I'm going to dip first is I just have this little piece of wood. It's just a little wooden plaque um, okay. that we picked up at the store. I'm going to do a canvas. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to, so you kind of just sort of dip. sink it in. Okay, straight up and it, straight down. Yeah, and straight back up. Okay, I'm just doing the top of mine because yeah, that's not yeah. big enough for to dip all the way down. Okay. Okay, wait, should we? I'm going to flip it. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Then it told us that we're supposed to rinse it off. Yes. Immediately in water. Yes. Per so, our instructions. Yep. So you were supposed to okay, put it so, in a regular water bath. So right, that's so what we're doing. Rinse mine right there. Yep. Okay. So you put it and you kind of do the same thing. You're supposed to dip and. All right. So. Okay. So fancy. So. Okay. Um, All right, so I will say Weirdly, I left the sticker on my <laughs> wooden <laughs> plaque, so we're just going to pretend like that's So this is really art. fun because you guys get to see the, the wackiness. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not loving how it's sitting on this canvas. Yeah, it's... I don't know if... I like, don't know. Um, It looks pretty good on the wood. All right, I'm going to try uh, it really quick on paper. Okay. All right, so we got some time right. And then they said you're supposed to clean um, in between. Yeah, so you can clean it so with paper, um, right? I'm yeah, you can clean it with really paper. Quick. They say just they get out. That actually looks. Kind they of cool. have what they call cleaning paper um, that you can oh, use. Um, it says you can use uh, a paper towel. I don't know. Um, maybe somebody who has actually done this before may know, but um, I don't know. We're just trying to see. Yeah, we're hey just, Lance, can I have more paper towels? We're sure. following their directions. Um, so. Because I want to try this again with a piece of paper and see if that's better. Because I don't love the canvas. I don't. I, let me see your, yeah, your so, wood is pretty. Yeah, cool. the wood looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do next is I've got another a couple other wood pieces okay. that are little uh, wooden keychains that I mm -hmm. picked up. So I'm going to try those to see what we think about those. Looked much better. Okay, ready. As I get, oh, oh, I heard a collective gasp from Lance and Zach behind the camera. Oh, um, okay. Looks good. Oh, hot oh. darn! That is that. Okay. Okay, that's the winner. Paper. Yeah. Paper. Okay. okay that is it. freaking cool. That is yeah, really cool. I'm All right. That. Okay. So, Lori and Lynn. Try it, before Try it before you, you buy, buy it. it. Okay, so I think what are we what are we gonna rate? What's our scale? Five out of ten? ten? Yeah, out of ten. Out of ten. I don't um I would say like six or a half. Yeah, like, I'm maybe, not crazy about it. I'd say maybe six. Now I'll say I the canvas did not work. Like this is not a success story. So canvas, no. Um, because we think it was treated. But I think the paper is cool, you know, and I'm interested to see how it dries. Yeah. You'll have to follow us over on social because we'll post to see if it how it dries. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, we rated a yeah, so I would say a six. Um maybe yeah, with a little more ten. practice, it'll be a little bit. Yeah, I think you gotta get the hang of this probably first. Yeah, right? Okay. If you wanna buy it, try it. Stick or water meat, water, marbling, acrylic. We're not endorsing it. We're showing it to you. We're trying it out. We're trying it out. We're gonna do this more. This is kind of fun, right? Try it before you buy it. Yeah, if you guys like it, tell us. Uh, we want to know. All right, I gotta go because Lance is saying that Emily is waiting for me in the kitchen because she's got some DIY beauty hacks that I definitely Ooh, need I help need, with. I need, yeah, that. I need help. This girl is beauty queen. All right, I'm heading over there. Emily, I'm so Hello. happy you're back. Hi. Oh, it's so exciting to see you. It's been way too long. Way too. Long. I miss you and all of your hacks and trends and all the things. I'm so excited. So for those of you that don't know Emily Foley, she is a beauty and trend expert. And this woman is full of so much knowledge. I was just telling her when I was flying to Hawaii, I used one of her hacks. So good. I <laughs> love plane. it. I used the toilet seat cover to wipe the oil off my face and suck it up when I was in the bathroom. And it worked so, so well. So well. Just as good as the oil absorbers you buy at the store. Yes, it really does. So there, that was a little juicy piece of throwback tips for you but today you've got a whole bunch of really yes. exciting things and I'm interested to see how all these things work into hats 
So, yes. so I am not the mom that's gonna wear the t-shirt that says hot mess mom. Like I don't want to lean into that. I'm very type A. I want everything to go perfectly, yeah. but that doesn't happen. I feel like as a mom, there's probably a scientific formula depending on how many children you have, yes. how many hot mess moments <laughs> you have in any given day. Yeah. So I'm here to help us get through some of those. Okay, I am issues. the hot mess mama that I just can't even hide it because I'm so busy and crazy. So I'm pretty sure these are all gonna work for me. <laughs> so good. Okay, so the first one, we live in Georgia. Gets, yes. Gets hot, hot a lot. Sticky. I cannot tell you how many times I am going about my day and I suddenly realize I have forgotten my deodorant. Oh, it's the worst. I never have deodorant yes. with me. It's not like you keep it in your car. Right, it's gonna get melty, it. yeah. right? But as moms, during a pandemic, what do we all have? Hand sanitizer! Hand sanitizer! <laughs> what does hand sanitizer do? It's antibacterial. It kills bacteria. Bacteria is actually what makes you stink under your arms. Okay. So you're gonna get your hand sanitizer, okay? Literally get some on your fingers. You are just going to wipe it. That's it. And let it dry, right? Wipe it, let it dry. And it, if you're already starting to get a little smelly, uh -huh. it's gonna kill the bacteria, make the smell stop. And if you're just worried about it happening, if you're just getting like a little damp, yeah. it's gonna keep the smell from happening. That's insane. Every time. What? Hand sanitizer, right? Hand sanitizer. Totally works. We call it germ squirt in our house. <laughs> it for my kids. stink squirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay, okay, what a great one. That is one because we all have that. It always happens. Love it. All right, frizzy hair. Oh. So for me, I have, usually I'm within seconds of like make it or break it with running out the door. Yes. So if I do the last check in the mirror and my hair is frizzy, my master bathroom's upstairs. I don't have You're time to running. run up and no. get it. The laundry room, however, is right there. So you get a dryer sheet. Okay. These are anti-static, right? Yeah. So they're also anti-frizz. You can literally just like, Wipe it on a spot. You can do it on either side. Wipe it down. It is going to completely Ooh, and it smells lay down good. the frizz. Smell it. it. Smells good too. Yeah. It smells really if good. you haven't managed to wash your hair, it smells there good you go. too. Okay, I like so, it. Dryer sheets for frizz. Got it. That's a good one. So, I think the whole mom bee thing, right? The dark circles under our eyes. We all know mom that. Bee. I love it. If you have yes, serious I dark have circles, I've managed to get good at covering them up with makeup. And it's <laughs> hard. It's really hard yes. to cover them. So, a lot of eye creams that are actually specifically for dark circles. Uh -huh have green tea in them as an ingredient because of that. the EGCG in green tea helps get rid of dark circles. It's also an anti-inflammatory. So you're gonna okay. brew some green tea if you don't have any okay, eye so cream. so just regular green tea. Regular green tea, you're gonna brew it. You're just gonna squeeze out that tea bag and okay. then you are literally gonna lay down, take a moment, and you are gonna lay it where you're back on your face. Okay, yeah. and how it's long? super soothing. How long do you keep it there? How long can you give yourself? Okay. You know, as long as you can. I mean, <laughs> give yourself a full 10 minutes. That's great if you don't have it then, you know, do what you can. Like holding them on while you're pouring the cereal exactly, in the bowl. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like maybe you get up and you're like, okay, I have 47 seconds okay. before okay. everybody else is alarmed. But as long as you can, it is going to help get rid of it. Okay, okay. that's a good one. I need that for sure, especially these days. So I have noticed during the pandemic that I'm breaking out more than ever. That has been my stressor me, coming out. Me too. Those big red painful pimples, Wait, they're right? They're terrible. We were they're just talking worse. about them. They're like under your skin and, and they, they radiate hurt and they so hurt. And you want to pick them, but you can't mm -hmm. pick them. Like, and the thing is, is even if you have a spot treatment that's actually for pimples, mm -hmm. sometimes that makes it even worse because then you just have peeling skin oh, around terrible. the huge Yes, and the makeup doesn't cover zip. that up. Exactly, it's the worst. So honey, which we have in our pantry, is full of antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties, okay? So you literally, you're gonna get the honey, you're just gonna dab it on the spot. Okay. Obviously you don't wanna do a ton, it's gonna get right. sticky and messy, so get a little, put a little layer, let it dry, and then do several layers. You can even do this overnight. You know, sometimes you could tell it's coming. Yeah. And you're like, oh, this is gonna be bad in the morning. Do it before you go to bed, let it sit overnight. Okay. Honey is actually a really good beauty product substitute for a lot of different things, but it's actually going to bring it down, get rid of the swelling, okay, get rid of the redness. I have this in my pantry, so this right? is gonna be my next crack. Honey is going to help you the next time you get the big, horrible food. Okay. All right, I'm interested. We've got some shaving cream here, so I don't know where this is going. <laughs> so here's the thing. I always put my makeup on before I get dressed because yes, first too. of all, kids are gonna be pulling well, on wait, you. Wait, and I don't wanna get makeup on right, my you clothes. don't want to fall down, right? Yeah. But then inevitably, oh, okay. at some point- On the collar. Yes, on the collar, the makeup, yeah. right? What do you do? Because I've actually tried to use uh, actual laundry detergent, yeah. but it's blue. It's and then I have a blue spot right. as well. Totally doesn't work. Shaving cream. Okay. You're literally going to take it. You're going to squirt a little bit on the spot. Let it sit for a minute. Kind of brush yeah, it in. Yeah, with your yeah. You're going to get a washcloth, get it wet. And then you're literally just going to scrub, scrub, scrub gently, depending uh -huh. on how delicate the fabric is. It's going to get it out. And you're already in your bathroom. So, so you already have it right there. So you grab the shaving one. cream. And this is just regular old shaving cream. Like nothing regular special. Regular old shaving cream. Love nothing it. special at all. Okay. okay. We've got two more. 
for the spray tanners among us, whether you're self tanning or spray, spray tanning, tanning, you know, you start getting hot, right? Yep. And you start getting those muddy spots in between and your where creases. you have creases, yes. right? And you look real dirty. You just get baby <laughs> powder. And this, a friend of mine owns a you spray tan shop. Like right there. Just spray it, right? Like however much you and want. Rub there it in. Go. Rub it in right I after wish you I was get it done. Right now. <laughs> and even if you sweat, it's going to help, help you not get that muddy. Love it. The muddy spot. Okay, All right. Last one, one real quick. All right. Bug bites. The protein that bugs put in your skin is what makes you itch. So you're going to get a spoon. Get yep. some hot water. Put the spoon in it. Let it heat up. Be careful. Okay. Don't get it too hot. Then you're literally going to press it into your skin. The heat kills the protein and it takes the bite, the itch from the bite away. What? The bite will still be there, okay, but it will that's not amazing. itch anymore. How cool is we that? We get so many bug bites. I am like, a, a, like mosquitoes love me. Whatever me blood type too. it is, or whatever it is. Yes. They are like, I'm like candy to them. A hundred percent. It's so it. annoying. And this is actually really soothing the warmth. Make sure it's not too hot. You know, you don't want to scald yourself, but nice and warm. Love press it. it up against it. Okay. okay these are amazing hacks. Remind everyone where they can follow you for more. You can more. follow me on Instagram at Emily L. Foley. I love it, Emily, you are amazing, thank you. I am going to try all of these, so I will keep you all posted. All right, next up, it is game time. So I'm headed to go grab some of our guests, and we're gonna be playing a game. I'll see you soon, Emily, bye. All right, <laughs> my days of wanting to be a game show host are coming true. <laughs> it's time to play everyone's favorite game, Name That Price. <laughs> Name That Price poses the question, how? Ooh. All right, so ladies, we've got both DIY experts here, but let's see if they know anything <laughs> about money. They will be competing against one another for a big green prize. Ooh. So stay tuned, Bianca versus Lloyd. All right. All right, so I'm gonna read a question. You have to write down the price. Whoever is the closest without going over will win. Got it. All right, okay. ready? Mm -hmm. How much did it take to make the blockbuster Office behemoth, Spider-Man No Way Home. Can we ask clarifying questions? Nope. No. Three, <laughs> two, one. All right, reveal your pr your prices to the camera. Okay, Bianca, what do you say? Five million. Lori. <laughs> Four billion. No. <laughs> 200 million. So Whoa. Bianca, wow. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. All right. One point for Bianca. Leanne, okay. are you keeping, keeping tally? Okay. That was horrible. All right. <laughs> How much does a lock of Elvis Presley's hair go for? Ooh. All right. Three, two, one. Show your prices. All right, Bianca. 20,000. 10,000. Ah, y'all are both wrong. <laughs> 115,000. All right, so who? What? All right, neither one of you went over. You got closest, Bianca. Okay. Two points. All right, how much does a full page ad in the HDTV food magazine cost? How much does someone have to pay for a full page ad? Three, two, one. Show your prices. All right, Lori, what do you say? 50,000. 80,000. 80, oh, 94,000 big ones. Whoa. If you would like to buy a full page ad. What? Wow. Thank Bianca. you, but no. <laughs> right? Thank you, but no. Find much better things to do with my money. Right? right? Love that magazine. Okay. <laughs> okay. How much is a copper penny worth from 1943? Oof. Okay. So this is a one cent penny. How much do you think it's worth? Three, two, one. Show your prices. All right, Bianca, what do you say? $100. What do you say? $250. $10,000. What? Isn't that crazy? One because penny? it's an error coin. There's an error in it. Oh. All right. Okay. What? I feel like I got a point. <laughs> yes. All right. How much is a Herms? Am I saying that right? Is it Herms, Liv? Her I say Hermes. 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 Sorry. Wow. <laughs> Clearly, I. Hermes High class, Hermes. low life. It's okay. <laughs> High class, real life. An Hermes Apple Watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all are all probably laughing on the other side of the camera right now. All right, show your prices. What do we got, Bianca? 5,000. What do you got? 15,000. No, you are both wrong. No one gets a point. You're both over. $1,400. Oh. Okay, well that's all right. much cheaper than that. And Reasonable. Decided. All right, ready? How much is a Porsche 780 Boxer going for these days? Ooh. Ooh. All right, three. Two, one, show your prices. All right, Lori, what do you say? I said 900,000. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because I know zilch about what things cost. <laughs> 90,000. All right, you're both wrong, and you both went over 63,000. 
Oh, is that? over. No one gets a point. I really don't even know what that is. Shoot. All right. All right. We got, we, got, we got three more. Lori, if you get all three of these right, you can catch up. Okay. All right. Ready? How much is a three-night stay for two adults at Sandals Jamaica Resort in August? Mm. Okay. And this does not include airfare. Okay. Just a hotel. Three, two, one. Oh, all I, right. I, I Bianca, know. what do you say? 1500 what do you say? 2500 Oh, Lori is close as $2,800. Right. Wow. Lori can pull in for All the right. tie. Okay. <laughs> How much is the drum kit used by Ringo Starr of the Beatles? Okay. All right, we're running out of time. Three, two, one. Show your prices. Okay, Lori, what do you say? 75000 What do you say? 200000 Oh, $2.2 million. Whoa. What? Oh. Okay. All right, and for giggles. <laughs> all right, special last question. I did Ooh. not write these questions, Lance did. So, um, what is the price of a Lynn Lilly glue gun before tax and shipping? Is this this right? isn't fair. Ah. <laughs> Okay, show your prices. Lori, what do you say? Twenty nine ninety nine. No. Twenty five dollars. Close, but over by one cent. Twenty four oh. ninety nine. I am really disappointed that neither of y'all know that because you both own one. <laughs> All right. So in our grand prize winner of the big green is Bianca Octavia. Oh. You win a green. Have a it. <laughs> We are big spenders here at Creative Living. So just in case you ever want to come on the show and compete, this is what you can look for. And so. health is wealth. And health is wealth, yes, yes. Except if you eat that, you may get sick because it's plastic. <laughs> today's show. I hope you all had fun. I hope you smiled. I hope you laughed. I hope you had as much fun as we did in today's show. Um, make sure you tune in every week right here Thursday at 8.30 p.m. You can watch us on all your social channels. Every show is different with lots of fun. All right, friends, be kind. Inspire someone. If you need some ideas during the week, feel free to head over to craftboxgirls.com. All right, shall we, shall we send them off with a little dance moves? All right. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Have a great week. Bye. <laughs>